Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. The Hilti tool that I want to show you now is the DSH 600, which is a game changer. This cutoff saw is running on the 22 volt Neuron battery platform. Now the idea of this tool is that we actually use two batteries side by side, in other words in parallel, so it doesn't make it a 44 volt machine, it's still 22 volts, but you cannot run it on just one battery. You put the two batteries in, have two more on charge, and then you can just keep running. Now if you're anything like me, you look at this and you think, come on, battery power in a cutoff saw, how good can that be? But this is actually better than any 60cc petrol or gas saw, if you like, on the market. Now key to this is that Hilti has developed a blade which is dedicated to this machine. It's got a thinner core and if you're used to any kind of battery saws of any type, you know a thinner curve, they take out less material. So the idea of this is that it makes a thinner cut, it reduces the wear and it also gives you a longer run time. So it's equal to or better than a full tank of petrol on a petrol saw. Now the other thing that I really like about this is, well we all know two stroke engines can be problematic if you don't get the mix right and we've all had situations where you've had to send them away for new pots, new pistons, whatever. So with this you've got far less maintenance, you've got less to go wrong, basically you've got a battery and a motor. Now you can also use this indoors and of course hooked up with the water pump which is also running on a Neuron 22 volt battery, you get the ideal situation. A lot of people don't bother, you know you see guys doing driveways and things like that and they don't bother hooking up to the water supply one reason is because they've got one guy who's got to be pumping away while the other guy's using it. In actual fact, you use far less water than some people might think with a unit like this, but it still keeps the dust down. Just simply hook it up with a hose, switch it on, and you're ready to go. One man or one woman operation. In terms of use, you can use this all day long because it's got very little vibration with that electric motor, unlike a petrol saw, and of course it's quieter as well. And again, you know, this is one of these things, when you're tightening the blade up, where's the spanner? Have a look at this. So you may have noticed that what I was doing is gently feeding this into the cut rather than plunging down. You may have been using these saws for years but it really does help to do that rather than what some people do is just plunge in and then go. Just be kind to it, it does the work, it does the work without any effort actually but it's best to use that technique. Now it's also got a safety feature here in that we can cut that off so that if we're carrying it around site we don't accidentally trigger it. So you need to unlock it and then fire it up and away it will go. So lock it off when you're carrying it around. What I like about this, okay, you can use different size batteries in it, but with these batteries in it, I notice that the balance is beautiful. In other words, you put it in there, you don't really need to hold it, let the weight of the saw feed into the cut. As I always say, let the saw do the work. And the final point I'd like to make is about the brake because I have used petrol saws where I've put it down on the driveway and it's still running, done a bit of damage. So here we are, look. Four seconds and it stopped. 